Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time everyone, with much anticipation, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers 5 The Last Night Voyager Class Premier Edition Optimus Prime. Um, wow. This is an amazing, this is an amazing figure. I cannot stress you enough. This is just simply an amazing figure. Um, <laughs> yes, so the, as you can see, is Ultra Mode of, of a semi-truck, the same Western Star Trek that he was in Age of Extinction. Um, now obviously at the time of this recording, uh, we do not know what is going to happen to Optimus, uh, in the movie, I'm assuming he's going to be possessed, or he, er, uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but we know he's possessed by the creators and, um, and tries to, kill, tries to murder everyone, including Bumblebee. Uh, but that, yet again, I could be wrong. So, uh, that aside, all, all of the truck mode looks awesome. Um, I just waited another silver on it, but I wish there was chrome, much like the leader class Age of Extinction one. But primary colors mostly blue, uh, flame decals, red, uh, silver, gray, uh, all spark blue, orange, um, and that's a dark gray, and that's really it. Oh, and does have two Autobot symbols on both sides for his cab. All in all, this is awesome. Awesome vehicle mode. Um, now, he does come with a couple accessories, as you see. He does come with the sword that... Um, there's a couple ways you can get get it out. Um, it's This one's a little... There you go. It comes up pretty easily. It bends pretty good. The sword on all it's very, very movie accurate to, well, from what we've seen of Transformers 5 so far, um, in terms of promotional pictures and all that stuff, and oh my god, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, just all orange and gray, and it comes with the shield, which is all translucent, uh, uh, all spark blue and gray and that stuff, and all looks pretty good. I love it. So, um, all in all, Optimus Prime here looks pretty amazing. Um, he just is is he's exceptional, tremendous, and just oh my god, just per simply amazing. Um, so the the vehicle mode, as I said, is pretty good. He, he of course he has the trailer hitch, so you can attach a trailer, or whatever. I've got the Masterpiece Prime and the Year to Go Optimus Prime's taker taker tra trailer to hitch, and it fits pretty good. Um, now, of course, you do see some kibble blend in. You see his legs, his fists, his crotch plate. And this is actually going to be his holster in robot mode. I'll show that off when we get to robot mode. But all in all, truck mode here looks awesome. Oh, and I forgot to show you, he does have an Autobot symbol indented on the front. Much like the, much like you saw in Age of Extinction and probably what you'll see in Transformers The Last Night. Um, all in all, it looks very awesome. It just, this vehicle mode just looks amazing. I cannot stress you guys enough, this is just an amazing ultra mode. And I'm afraid we're going to end this review, so everyone take your seats and have a good day. I'm afraid this uh, the figure has just been broken. Um, it, I can't fix it. It has to be ended, and I have to see you. Um, um, I, I cannot transform it. It must remain in vehicle mode until the end of time. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Have a good day. We'll, we'll back away from the review and end it right now. Goodbye. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. All right. So, anyways, guys, seriously, all in all, this is an awesome figure. It just, it just simply amazing. Fuel tankers, fuel tanks there. Excuse me. And just it's pretty good. Excuse me. Um, no painted headlights. I wish they painted in blue, like a dark blue, and also has the indented uh, tail lights, which has no details. Should have something about anyway. And nothing there. But anyway, all in all, truck mode looks awesome. Simply amazing. Okay, transformation. Um, not ex not what I expected. I was I was taken. This is an amazing transformation, but I didn't expect it to be the way it was going to be. So anyway, so transformation to robot mode. Well, first thing you want to do is you want to um, first thing you want to do is come to the back of the truck here and just want to split the legs like this. Come to the crotch plate, flip it up just for now. Then what you do is take the top of the cab here, flip it around like this, and just leave it like that. Then what you want to do is take the front of the truck, split it apart, and then what you want to do is just take the side door panels here 
and just flip them open like this. Then what you want to do is you want to take um, you want to take the hood of the truck and split it from the the front you know grill section and just and then and then just split and just open apart open apart the just the front of the truck just open it up like this so uh, yeah that's the arms so we'll start with the legs for the leg transformation uh, we'll start with the trailer hitch the trailer hitch you just what you want to do is you want to rotate it around like this just rotate these pieces around like so and then what you want to do is you want to rotate fold this piece down yeah fold these pieces down like this and then um, actually yeah and then you want to take the the trailer not the trailer the front of the truck uh, it just what you want to do is you want to flip down the feet like this and then you want to rotate them around you want to rotate the feet around and then you just want to make you want to be sure you want to make you got to make sure you got to get you got to have to force it until you have it lined up with this piece here and then once you do that you'll have enough, enough clearance to take the front grill section flip it around and then you want to take the the front truck piece and just rotate it and flip it around so that way you'll be able to flip it around um, basically you're, you're you have yeah like this so just flip the flip that piece around and just flip the and just basically fold around the truck bit like that so that was I know so we'll do the same thing on the other side so flip this around flip the grill around um, and flip this piece around and then rotate this bit around just rotate this for now just flip this around and then it's just a series of folding 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 so yeah I apologize I know it's a quite it's quite an amazing transformation I'm I'm pretty satisfied with this transformation it's it's, a, it's simply an amazing transformation um, I know I've, I've used that phrase from time to time to time but what can you do and there you go get that locked in place tab that in take that leg around and yeah so Yes, there's sometimes, yeah, get the tab there, take the legs around, and there you go. So there's the legs done. That is, that's a crazy transformation. It's kind of like the films. Then what you want to do is you want to take, um, what you want to do is you want to take this entire section here, rotate the bias around like that, uh, which obviously is the waist. And then what you want to do next is you want to take, what well, were the fronts of the, fronts of the truck, Split the uh, just fold them around like this and just squeeze them back like so Then we want to do is take the cab bit and flip it back like this That's as far as it'll go and then we want to do is want to take the what will be the arms um, And you want to just essentially rotate what are going to be the shoulder pads rotate them down rotate the arms forward and then make sure that the arm shoulder pieces are clicked into place like that do the same thing right here and then take the arm pieces and flip them but just the front of like the top of the truck and just flip them against the arm like this and then what you want to do is you want to take come up under here and flip up his head and then flip the chest piece in and then flip down the crotch plate and then the last little kind of transformation is rotate these pieces here for the pectoral muscles like that so yeah, quite, kind of a crazy transformation, in all honesty. And there you go. There you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is incredible. Like, I'm not joking. Like, he is way more slender than the Age of Extinction leader class. And by the way, we are going to get a last night uh, leader class figure of this guy. But anyway, uh, articulation-wise, head can rotate full 360, up and down. Little side-to-side -side movement. But yeah, what can you do? Arm skill full 360, out to the side, bend to the elbow, rotate. He has no wrist, I wish he did. 
Um, he does have ways to do the transformation. The legs can go forward and back out to the side. Well, that depends. You guys got to move the crotch bit. Uh, bend, bend the knee. Um, it can rotate. And feet, feet, they don't really have any articulation, but they kind of, they kind of do, kind of don't. All right. So taking a look at his head. Oh my god, Optimus Prime's head looks awesome. I wish they could have given him some light piping rather than all spark blue painted eyes. But, I mean, what can you do? This is an amazing figure. I mean, I'm not joking. Alright, so, weapon-wise, you can give him the shield you can, yeah, and put in his hand if you want. And, of course, you can give him his sword. And I think just for the fun of it, um, why the heck not? So I think we'll just kind of do like something like this. Uh, let's see. So we'll kind of do like um, like uh, the promotional picture from Transformers: The Last Night, where he's um, staring down at his uh, brethren, although he's possessed. Well, okay, you you could do that, but remember I said he had a holster in his robot mode that was hidden beside in his truck mode. Well. There is a way to um, ensure that possibility. Um, just give me a sec here. Um, yeah, the cab is a bit of a pain, so forgive me on that one. Um, there's a holster right here that you can shove the sword into. Um, if if allow me, it'll allow me to. Here, hold on. Basically, you can shove the sword in and. Bob's your uncle, there's the sword. And then he can, he can have the ability to just grab it, so. Yeah, so you can put him in, a, in that pose if you so choose. Anyhow, all in all, will I recommend getting Optimus Prime here? My god, you must get him. This is an awesome figure. I mean, yes, this is the best representation of his on screen appearance from Age of Extinction, and of course, the last. The last night. Uh, this is an incredible figure. I'm pretty sure this is going to be repainted into his possessed form, assumingly, or Nemesis Prime, when the movie comes out in a later wave. Um, but I mean, this is just an excellent figure. I will, I cannot stress enough that this is an exceptional figure. Highly recommended purchase if you can find him. You will not be disappointed by him. He's just awesome. He's incredible. And oh my god. He is just simply amazing. Highly recommend it if you can find him. So yes, everyone, that is my video review of the Transformers The Last Night, uh, Transformers 5 The Last Night, Voyager Class Premier Edition Optimus Prime. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video, and yes, so take care, see you soon, have a good day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.